everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Come on in. The water's fine. Thank you for being here. We're going to move on into the next track of Kaleidoscope. We're going to listen to some more Susie and the Banshees, which is going to be the track Desert Kisses. This could be hot. This could be cool, depending on the time of day in the desert. But either way, it's going to be a kiss from the desert, not a kiss from a rose. Oh, that's a good one. Anyways, let's go ahead and listen to the track. We'll talk about it after. Thank you, as always, for being here, though. I, I appreciate you watching the videos. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Bye bye. Loving that groove already in that effect. This is really good. Perhaps underrated? that effect on the bass too, just carrying it on. Interesting. I love how this one feels. That's great. Okay, Sing has, as how I'm listening to this album, of course, for the first time, getting into Susie and the Banshees, really, for the first time, a little bit more in-depth with this album, even though we have covered other songs here. Um, I don't know for sure, I can't say with certainty, but is this like an underrated classic among 
this album, their discography, because I love the sound on this one. The atmosphere, that weird kind of phasing, maybe it's flanger, that wow, 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 wow. And then you hear it especially a little bit more isolated on the bass when the music kind of drops out a little bit. I love that effect. And especially with how Susie, yes, but also just everyone else's voices. In those moments, there are lots of harmonize or just do a little, uh, like with that effect, it, it creates this maybe gothic-y, kind of haunting, incredibly inspiring and beautiful little moments and little section there in the music. I, I just really like how that all comes together. And then the drum beat also is very interesting because the drum beat is so separated. There's three elements really, the, the bass or the kick, the snare, and then the hi-hat. And it really just plays like boom, 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 like they're not playing at the same time as in like the drums, like the drum parts are not being played at the same time. It's just kick, snare, or, or kick, hi-hat, snare, and they're all kind of separated, which is just really interesting. There's no overlap there, which kind of gives and lends itself to this more awkward, odd sounding kind of song that they've put together here and not that the song is awkward or odd i don't mean that in a negative connotation i mean that in a cool way like it helps push that theme along it helps push their sound along i, I think that that's that's a fantastic sound i really enjoyed that a lot <laughs> that was I, like i said i can't say for sure but this to me feels like one of those underrated or hidden treasures if you would uh, out of their out of this album perhaps That, that's, I don't know, they, they build the most mysterious and yet beautiful and alluring atmospheres out of the simplest things, it seems like. I, I just really like the direction they have, uh, and that track is really, really good. I actually, I really like that track. It's one of my top, top ones on this album so far. Desert kisses in the sand, engulfing joints, engulfing land. Tidal fingers cling to rocks, a deadly grip, a deadly lock. Cursed and pissed into the ocean, willfully caused a great commotion, but only for a stifled moment, then it was back to still life motion. So are we really just personifying the tides, personifying the beach, and this, this desert kisses as like the waves come up to kiss the, the beach, or maybe in a sense the beach, the desert, the sand is kissing the water? A sideways crawl, a sideways scrawl, a cancer, or the cancer crab is on us all. I kissed your face, I kissed the sand, I heard you sigh, there was no sound. Thrashed and spat back at the ocean, but there was nothing, no commotion. Just my, my lonely, stupid notions trapped again in still life motion. I really think that she's just sitting at the beach, looking at the waves, watching this natural course come in and back, and she's just kind of poetically writing about it. And that's at least like the feel, I think. Sinking down, the world is round. Sinking down, there's no one around. Standing on the moving ground. Sinking down, the world is flat. There's no one here to question that. Sinking down without a sound. I, that's what I'm thinking. That's at least what I'm feeling. And sometimes music is about feel. Actually, 90% of the time it's about feel. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this track. I think it's it, it, it sounds like an underrated classic, but I'd like to know what perhaps actual fans of the band, what you guys think of this one. Uh, so put those thoughts in the comments below. You can also follow me in a couple of places. Don't forget to like the video before you leave. Thank you for being here. I don't know why I did that with my neck, but come back tomorrow and I'll see you all then. Bye.